how can we improve this material? Oh. And now let's see how it performs. Hello. A week ago I presented the Siraya ABS and ASC filaments, both reinforced with glass fiber. And for this video I have their PET CF filament. It contains 10% of chopped carbon fiber and according to the website it has a great dimensional stability and printability without warping and shrinking. And it has great strength, well at least in X and Y direction. And I hope this 10% is not too big and we will still have good layer adhesion. The price is approximately $50 per 1 kilogram, which is good price for this kind of technical filament. And I think I have to mention this every time. I got this pool for free, but I'm not paid anything to create this video. I know some commenters still consider this as a sponsored video. Okay, it's their choice, but uh, there is no contract or conditions for the content. And basically, I'm just doing some measuring, which you can even see in this video. And at the end, I'm doing the conclusions, analyzing the results. And big thanks to my Patreon supporters, because without them there will be very minimal activity on this channel. I am earning approximately $10 from YouTube ads, and I know that my Patreon supporters like this kind of content, so that's why I'm investigating my time, at least 20 hours for the testing and video editing, because I'm curious actually myself about these filaments too. Let's see what's in the box. Nice vacuum packaging in this aloe bag. We have some basic information on the sticker. Don't forget to cut it above the ceiling line. Nice cardboard spool. An interesting rough surface of the filament. We have some basic print information on the sticker. Edge of the spool is protected. And we have some scales here. End of the filament is inside these holes. Maybe it would be better if this would be glued. Let's see how brittle is this filament. Very brittle. The bending test, yes, very brittle filament. So until the drying process, the end of the filament will be glued with this stick tape. Start weight of the spool, and I can see that uh, 185 gram is the weight of the empty spool. It will be dried on 70 degrees Celsius, and I will measure the weight every half hours. Even after 2 hours, the weight reduction was uh, below 0.01 grams, so it was dried even the, out of the box. From Syria website, I downloaded the profiles for X1 Carbon, 300 degrees Celsius on the nozzle, 100 on the bed, and 8 will be the maximal flow, and here you can see the default part cooling. The filament is loaded, it will be in a filament dryer during the printing, and it will be printed on X1 Carbon on 300 degrees Celsius. Engineering plate with some glue on it. First layer check, but it is completely okay. It's hard to see on this black color, but this is really nice printing. But probably later I'll print a bench too. I don't really like to print on 300 degrees Celsius, but uh, it was printed without problems. Printing is finished, and there is no smell like with the ABS or ESA filaments. Perfect. And of course I need a Benchy too. The quality of this Benchy is great. The surface is a little bit rough, but uh, those layer lines are quite hidden, and even the hull line is hardly noticeable. No stringing, great overhangs, so the printability with these fibers is really great. And the filament will be stored in this vacuum bag. The tensile test with the horizontally printed test objects. These are the average values from two. And this is the layer adhesion with the vertically printed objects. Not bad. Good tensile strength, but this layer adhesion is impressive too. And again results immediately after the testing, and for better comparison I will include the ABS-GF results from my previous video. So PET-CF on the tensile test, very impressive, brake load over 100 kg, but even on the layer adhesion it was quite good. Share test, and I'm using this crane scale with max of over 200 kg. And I know that I needed it here. Shared correctly, but I couldn't find all pieces. Shared test with horizontally printed test objects, brake load over 200 kg, so this is why I needed that stronger crane scale. With the vertically printed test objects, where the layer adhesion is important, also very impressive, over 100 kg the brake load. Torque or twist test with horizontally and vertically printed test object. 
Side by side horizontally and vertically printed test objects, interesting to see the same brake load. Same numbers but different type of the brake, the vertically printed brakes more suddenly. Even if I can see it very often, but it is always interesting to see that horizontally and vertically printed test objects have very similar load, actually in this case equal, but of course this vertically printed breaks more suddenly. Temperature test in the oven, and maybe these two white objects I have to take out earlier, but we will see soon. Speed up time lapse video, and those two white objects are from my previous testing, the ABS and ESC, but this pet CF don't want to start with the forming. I have to stop the experiment 212 degrees Celsius. Let's see how hard is it. Wow. <laughs> 212 degrees Celsius and it is in perfect shape. This PCF is super temperature resistant material and don't forget that I didn't do the annealing here. But even this ABS GF is quite impressive, probably because of these glass fibers, so it is better than the regular ABS. Siraya Pet CF, zero position. It's still connected on that one point, but uh, let's analyze the numbers. Distance from the zero position is only 25 millimeters. This means this filament is more brittle compared to the ABS GF. I think this is the only test where this ABS GF is better than this PET CF, which is very brittle material. 3 point bending test and here you can see when all loads are placed on it. And I will place them one by one and I will measure the deformation after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. This is the deformation under 2.5 kg, under 5 kg, under 10 kg and very minimal deformation during the time. And basically I cannot see any permanent deformation on this test object. This is a deformation under these loads after 30 seconds. Smaller values are better, but this is more interesting where we can see the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And here we can see that uh, not only that uh, PET CF have a smaller deformation, but basically even on a 10 kilograms this is horizontal, so they don't have any additional deformation during the time. Creep test the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kilograms. Very minimal deformation. I cannot even place this bolt inside this gap, so I'm measuring without that uh, locking mechanism. 12.12. .12. This is the last fifth day of the testing. Let's measure them. 12.22. And now let's remove the loads. White objects are ASA and ABS from my previous video. And I already measured it after the test on this PET CF, there is no any kind of the permanent deformation. On my Hungarian channel, I compared this PET CF with 2mm thick 3D printed metal. And I wanted to place some bigger load on it, and this is 2.5 kg. And look how small is the deformation on this material. And I measured it only 13.3 mm. And just for comparison, this is the regular ABS, and look how big is the deformation under this load. In this test, PET CF performs fantastic. Look at this, not only smaller deformations compared to the ABS, but even if we look at uh, the difference between two days, that's the creeping, it has very minimal deformation during this time. This small inaccuracy in measuring, but this is very minimal. Our results one more time without comments. And this one line I'm adding to that summary table for my Patreon supporters, so they can very easily compare this data to any of those which I did in earlier videos. And basically this is my only gift to my Patreon supporters. And for the end, this is really great technical filament with fantastic mechanical properties. I'm really impressed with its uh, temperature resistance. And don't forget that I got all these results without annealing of the objects, because this is what I was curious about. And the price of $50 per kilogram is not big for these specifications. And so I will test uh, all Siraya premium nylon filaments, the regular carbon fiber and the core version, and they will be compared in one window. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell button too, because uh, for some reason my videos are not recommended by YouTube algorithm. But uh, whenever I am continuing doing these videos until I have my Patreon supporters, because I know that they like this kind of content. And for you, thank you for watching this video and happy printing.